Hello everyone and welcome to the start of a brand new series. So a lot of you guys have suggested over, I don't even know how long, quite some time that we play the aisle and finally, <laughs> uh, actually thanks to Songheart, I have the game. So we're gonna be starting to play the aisle. I've really not touched this game yet. I have no idea what I'm getting into. I do know it's survival, sometimes PvP, and I'm not the best at PvP, so be prepared for death. Uh, but yeah, so anyway, with that said, we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. I think we're gonna be playing as a carnivore, and I think we're on one of the official servers. I think there's some sort of progression system here. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so... All right. Okay. Okay. So we can choose any of these guys. I think... Um... We... Okay, oh, we have to get Velociraptor. Oh, okay, wait. Okay. So... Okay, no, we can't choose any of them. Okay, that makes sense. So we have to start as a Velociraptor. I think we can choose our gender. We'll just go ahead and choose female. Uh, there is a nest. And we'll go ahead and hit confirm. Okay, oh, here we go. We can't... We can't really do anything there, so I guess this is how we look. We're gonna go ahead and hit confirm. And I think here we are. Okay. Whoa! That got lush quickly. I didn't realize there was gonna be that much vegetation. Man, this is a really pretty game. I played around slightly with it in a server that I hosted once. So... What is that? I fear. Um, I don't actually know what I'm doing here. I don't even really know most of the controls. I guess that's attack. That's jump. We can crouch. We can sprint. And then I think there are roars. Okay. I think there's multiple roars. I think, yeah, there are multiple roars. With different buttons. So this is how we look. I'm just basically expecting to get killed quickly. And I think in order... I think in order to, um... To progress, we're probably gonna have to hunt if we start getting hungry here. So we're gonna have to be careful with that. But this uh, that's actually something... Uh, this brings up an interesting point. So I'm looking into the possibility of if you guys like the series and you want to see more, uh, I can look into the possibility of getting uh, JPlay's channel server. So like uh, a, a specific server for... Because uh, I believe you can host servers, and I know there are sites that will host 24-7 servers, at least as far as I know. Is there, like, Sentry or anything? I don't know. Um, but I can look into getting a JPlace channel-specific server for you guys if you guys are interested in that. The only catch is that, from what I know, it does cost money, and so... In order to be able to make sure I have enough to host the server each month, I probably would have to restrict it to... Uh, to be a Patreon thing or to people who have supported just to make sure that I can afford to keep the server running. But as far as I understand, it would be an expensive thing per person. Um, one of the ones I was looking at, you could get 20 slots for like $15, so that'd be less than a dollar per person. Um, so if that's re a remote possibility that you guys would be interested in, and if you guys would be uh, a willing and able to uh, to help support it by it would probably be like a one dollar monthly fee in all honesty um but if you guys are, would be willing or interested in that please do let me know uh because i would love to host a server for that and play on that as part of the channel and i think that'd be really 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 fun so if you guys would be interested in that let me know i have not seen another player i think there are only like 18 people on this on the server I don't even know exactly what we're supposed to be doing. Is there some sort of tutorial? There is, okay, progression. And options, can we... I don't think... Okay. I hear somebody somewhere. Oh, there's something! Look, what's going on over there? That is that Gallimimus? 
That is Gallimimus. Wow, I don't, I doubt we could actually, man, look how fast they are. I doubt we could actually take these guys down, but let's just see. All right, we should be able, if we crouch, can we sneak up on them? I don't think they can hear us now. I don't know where they went though. This is probably going to be how we get ourselves killed. <laughs> um, but I think, I don't know that we're actually hungry yet. Maybe I'll just follow them and see if they know where they're going. Man, anybody, any of you guys who have played this game, who are watching me right now, are probably going, oh my goodness, Jay, you have no idea what you're doing. <laughs> and you'd be right. I really do not. Uh, this is the first time I've legitimately played this game other than to just test that it worked, where I ran around for about 30 seconds and got used to the movement controls. <laughs> um, yeah. So I really don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Let's stay. Does it drop you back to a crouch? It does not. Okay. I like the thick brush because as a Velociraptor, we can just disappear into this. I think that's probably how we're supposed to hunt. Probably. Do I hear something else? No, I'm just hearing my own footsteps. I thought I heard someone else for a second there. But no, it is just us. There were, however... Okay, we do have a water bar. We are starting to lose hunger now. And... This is an open area. I don't think I really like the open areas, because I'm small and vulnerable and probably going to get myself killed if I try to go into an open area. Alright, we're gonna have to find food eventually. And I think there's a way you can lay down and stuff, too. I could probably go check the controls, actually. Maybe I should do that. Let's check the controls. Let's go to the controls. Um, crouch, crouch. Uh, I don't think we need any of those. Some of these are controls, because I think they have humans in this at some, some point. Trot. Okay. Um... So, broadcast is one, friendly is two, threaten is three, and help is four. Feign limping, <laughs> resting. Uh, you can toggle the HUD. There's no way I'm gonna remember all these guys. Um, feign limping. Okay, I think the ones that we need to remember are gonna be H. If we press H, we can rest. All right. And G. We can feign limping. Oh my goodness. So that can be kind of interesting. Man, so you can't even trust if someone is acting hurt in this game. Oh no. I'm really in for it, you guys. We have got to find ourselves some food and fast. Because we're going to be in for a spot of trouble if we don't. Maybe I should have been an herbivore to start off with. This may have been a bad idea. I'm just so partial to carnivores, though. All right, if we sprint across the open field here and scoot over here. Are there no NPC dinos whatsoever? There's not going to be anything populated to uh, get us a good meal. I can't even see where I'm going. I'm going to run smack into somebody if I'm not careful here. I can't actually see. I mean, I guess if I can't see them, they can't see me, right? Although maybe if I'm just can't see anything because I'm short of shortens. <laughs> um, I don't know. Hmm. I mean, technically we do hide very well in this grass. I don't know the map either. I've never played this game before now. The animation is cool, though. Look at that tail. It's very, very cool. I probably don't want to be running everywhere, do I? And I need water. How do I drink water? I don't even know how to drink water. I don't even know how to find water. There's gotta be somewhere around here. Maybe if we get up high, it'll be a good vantage. I'm gonna not run so much, though. Man, we even have lens flares and stuff here. 
All right, I'm gonna go up the mountain. Apparently it's rather easy to break your leg in this too, as far as I've heard. All right, come on, no. Uh, so I'm gonna be kind of careful because from everything I've heard, all the guides I've read, breaking your leg is like death instantly whenever somebody finds you basically. So I don't really want to, um, to deal with that. Let's see if we can f make our way over here. Here we go. I don't know where are we even supposed to go. We have no stamina. Are we stuck? <sighs> that looks like bad news. Okay, no, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I don't know if we're going to even get up there. We're kind of stuck, aren't we? It's not as easy to climb this as I was hoping it would be. There's no way I'm going to make it past that. Yeah, we gotta go back down. If we're careful, can we can we slide down carefully? If we're very careful, I think. Maybe. Maybe. I don't think whoa, that's a slope. Okay, I just don't want to break my leg. Alright. So I don't think that was worthwhile. We've got to find somewhere. I mean, I guess you must be able to progress if people have made it all the way up to uh, to Gallimimus on here, which I think was on the later tiers. This place, wow, this is really pretty actually. What's that down in the bushes here? Is it something? It's flowers. I was running for flowers. Wow, that's not good. But is that that I think might be water, possibly that or it's a mirage. It might also be a cliff. Let's sprint across the field. I know I probably shouldn't run everywhere. That wasn't even water. I thought there was water. I know I probably shouldn't run everywhere either. That's a pretty bad how I have to break because your stamina seems to come back really slowly in this game. Um, but yeah. I, I don't know, you guys. I don't know. Yeah, you guys are probably laughing at me going, oh my goodness, you have absolutely no idea what you're doing. And yeah, I don't. I really do not. We're probably going to die of hunger or thirst on our first run. Because I can't even seem to find water. Um, I guess it probably gets easier as you get more accustomed to the map and as you learn more where people hang out and stuff. And as you learn in general... But, yeah. I, d I wanted to know where those Gallimimus were going. I, I don't think I could actually hunt them, but... I, I wanted to know where they were going. Maybe they were going somewhere important. Maybe they would take me with them. <laughs> but now they're gone. <laughs> oh, bother. Alright. We're gonna just stalk through here. Our thirst is definitely draining faster than I'd like it to. And we can't even see through all this thick brush. Can we orbit? Oh, we can orbit the camera be up above. That's a good plot, yeah, actually. Because if we're in the bushes, then we can have our camera view higher up. I'm like, here, nobody's gonna see me. You know, we could be walking past all kinds of dinosaurs in the bushes and not even seeing them. Do we leave footprints? We do leave footprints. But in the grass, that's really hard to see. I don't know why, but I just got the sudden sense that I should look behind me. I, I don't know. I don't like being out in the open. I think it is. I feel like I'm going to get hunted down. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't really trust this place. It's been too peaceful. I mean, I know we've only seen two others, and I don't think there are that many people actually online right now. But even so, maybe I should have picked a more populated server. Would have made it easier to find food, at least. Hmm. What if we scoot off this way? There's got to be water somewhere around here. Does sprinting drain your water faster? It probably does. Hmm. Those are really tall mountains. What was that?
I mean, I guess if people were hiding in the bushes and moving, we'd probably hear them. I don't know what that was. That scares me a little. I, I want to know what that was. I'm really, really afraid of it, honestly. I don't know what that was. And that is scaring me. I feel like I'm going to get ambushed at any second. I don't do jump scares, you guys. If I get if I get jump scared in this game, I am going to be very upset. Uh, oh man, I feel somehow this will be worse than than even an arc and stuff because here you have actual players controlling the dinosaurs that will jump out of nowhere at you. So they're going to be even smarter than the arc dinos or the even the dinosaurs in Saurion that have jump scared me a couple of times. Oh man. Oh, this is this is a little bit creepy, you guys. I heard something that sounded like it was off to the uh, to the left. I don't know if that's just um. I don't know if that's ambient, but I don't think it's ambient. I guess once you get to be the bigger dinosaurs, you might want to try and mark your territory a little bit and roar to let others know that you're you're in the area, you're big, you're bad, you're dangerous. Animals do communicate a lot by uh, sound, and I expect dinosaurs would have been no different. That's a lot of the purpose in wolf howls, is to to spread their sound, basically. If you hear the pack howling, you know you're near the territory, and other wolves will hear it and stay away, in combination with scent, of course. There's gotta be water somewhere near here. We have almost full, or we have full stamina. I'm gonna run again. We've got our water is dropping. We've got to find more water, you guys. I don't want to go down because of thirst. That is, that 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 I don't think I would ever live that down, you guys. All right, there's got to be somewhere. We've got to be somewhere near water. There can't be that little water in a place this green can there. Oh, I think we might be in trouble, you guys. Maybe before we do the next episode of this, whenever that may be, we'll we'll look at it and decide. Um, uh, we'll look at a map and figure out where everything is and kind of decide what my game plan for the next time is. You can run for quite a distance here. I must say, the stamina does drain and take a long time to come back up once it does. It's also getting to be night, it looks like. But, man, you can run for a long time. Probably, I wonder if it depends on the creature. It probably does. These guys probably have to run away a lot. They probably need a lot of stamina. Except we're gonna run out again pretty soon here. Yeah, I don't know. We're gonna have to slow down again. Let that stamina come all the way back up. That that footprint, I believe, is our stamina. And we've seen a grand total of two people. Maybe next time I should play on a populated server. You guys will have to tell me, is it easier or harder to play on a populated server? Um, because here, there's like nothing to hunt. It probably is easier on an unpopulated if you're an herbivore. And easier on a populated if you're a carnivore. Potentially. That's my guess at least. You guys will have to tell me for those of you guys who actually know the game better than I do. Uh, you have to let me know which is accurate. We're gonna die thirst, aren't we? Do we even have... I don't know that we have a, a health bar. Did I? keep feeling like I'm hearing something or like somebody's watching me and it freaks me out a little bit because I, I feel like somebody's gonna come popping out of nowhere at us and just take us out without any warning. Uh, this has been very uneventful you guys. I feel like maybe I need to go play on a more populated server just for the sake of getting some more action and actually being in danger as opposed to not. <laughs> I don't know how you're even supposed to, to progress either. I don't really know any of this. I 
thought I heard something. I think it was just me, though. I keep hearing myself and hearing, like, the faint echo. I think it probably that maybe it's meant to be the tail hitting things. I keep hearing that really faint echo and thinking somebody is right there. I don't know what it is. It's the grass crunching, I think. I keep hearing that and thinking somebody's sneaking up on me. But, uh, no, it is always just me. This is a really stunning game, though. The graphics are gorgeous. Alright. We're gonna see... If we can head this way. Probably shouldn't use up all my stamina. But at this point, we're basically dead anyway if we don't find water. So... I don't think it's gonna matter if we get eaten. Because if we don't get water fast, we're gonna be in trouble. Okay, yeah, we're out of stamina. I wonder if there's water down there. I don't think we're gonna make it to water, you guys. <laughs> that's that's really sad. My first episode, we're gonna die of thirst. <laughs> um, oh yeah, we're we're not doing so well. Uh, but yeah, so in any case, you guys will have to tell me if you want to see me make this into a series. And uh, let me know if you like it. And let me know what you guys think of the idea of us starting up a JPlays, um, like a JPlay server on the aisle where you guys could come and join in. And I can figure out how to do that. Uh, if, if you are interested in that, then definitely uh, let me know about that. And like I said, I think it's about... What? I don't know what that is, but I want to go away. <laughs> I want to get away. Um, oh, we're out of water, aren't we? Um, like I said, though, I think it's about 15 maybe $20 to host a server. And uh, if that's the case, then uh, I, I think I would probably make it just like a, every person pays about a dollar on Patreon or something. If you have a monthly Patreon subscription for a dollar or more, then you get uh, access to the server. So yeah, let me know if you think that's a good idea. We're gonna die at any second here, aren't we? I think so. Oh, I see. I see a danger overlay. Water! Water! Maybe we're not gonna die! Maybe we're not gonna die! Maybe we can make it! Can we live? If I can figure out how to drink the water, maybe we can make it. I need to drink water. How do I drink the water? How do I drink the water? Is that how we drink water? No! How do I drink water? If I die of thirst in the water, I will be mad. <laughs> uh, how? Okay, drink, 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 drink. Where is it? How do you use? Would it be use? E? Special? No. E? Probably E? E? No? How do you drink the water? How? How do you drink the water? I'm, I'm literally in the water as I am dying. How? How do you drink water? How does this work? Am I this inept at the game? Is it that bad? How do you even... Uh, there's something scary noises, too. I think we're slowly dying of thirst as well. There we go! It is E! Okay, I just had to hold it down. Hey, we didn't die of thirst. Maybe we'll keep playing for a bit. We're getting that danger overlay, though. So, we know, now know how to drink the water. That's at least good. We're in some kind of a swampy, marshy area. Hmm. All right. I wonder if there's actually anybody around here. I don't know how you even would find people. Um, I don't really want to resort to cheaty tactics like, uh, like fake crying for help or something or limping. I, I don't, I mean, I guess it's not cheaty if it's in the game, but I don't know you guys. It just feels wrong. I guess a dinosaur would do what a dinosaur needs to do. And Velociraptors were, well, at least in the media, are represented as being notoriously smart. 
but I don't know, you guys. That's not the sort of reputation you really want to get, I don't think. Um, hunger is now going to be our problem. If we don't find food soon, we're going to die. And I don't know if we'll reach that point by the end of the episode or not. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Let's see. Where are we even going? Where are we even going? I don't even know. Let's see. Oop. Let's see. All right, I don't know. I don't know exactly where we're heading. Even, I'm just kind of climbing up. Maybe we'll get to the top of this mountain. I don't know where we're, we're supposed to go or what we're supposed to do or any of that. I just know that I'm not doing it. Um, I am just failing miserably at this game and having absolutely no idea what I'm supposed to be doing here. So yeah, uh, that sums up my experience here so far. You guys will have to help me out. Tell me what I'm even supposed to be doing. How am I supposed to progress? Is that what the progression timer was? Progression... Um... Is that 20 hours or 20 minutes? I don't know what that is. Is that... I would hope it's not 20 hours. I don't know. It might be. Good gracious, if it's 20 hours, then we're doomed. We're, we're gonna be stuck as a Velociraptor forever. Alright, let's... That's gonna be how I break a leg. It's good to kind of learn your limits, though. I don't know. Oh, we got up there. We vault up. Can we jump up? Oh, we're out of stamina. Hmm. Let's let our stamina come back. Maybe we can rest a little. And will that let us? That will let us recover stamina quite quickly here. Oh yeah, that comes back fast. So let's see. All right, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna. All right. There we go. Okay. We're gonna try and get to the top of the mountain and just see if we can get a view. And, uh, man, that is already quite pretty. I wanna go up! Maybe we'll go this side. We'll go this side. This side looks easier. Maybe we can climb up this side without, um... Whoa! Okay, I did not mean to almost vault off the edge there. Uh, but I think... Possibly we can get up here. There we go. Are we able to make it up? I don't know if we're able to make it up or not, but look at that! This is a really cool place. There's some water down there. That's the swamps where we just were. This looks like a really big map. Oh no. Alright, we're going to see if we can get to the top of the mountain, and then I think I'm going to end the episode. Let's rest again. That or we're going to careen down the side. And uh, break our leg, probably. <laughs> um, so, let's see. Alright, are we able to get up? No. No, I don't know that we're even able to get up there. Are we able to? No... I don't think we're going to get up. So I think we're going to go ahead and leave off the episode here for today. So definitely let me know if you guys have any tips for this game, because I do not know what I'm doing. Uh, so yeah, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.